her maxilla was underdeveloped, just like in my case, and her face didn't make sense with, with that. Defocus from this and focus on like another fucking thing, you know, I just, I just can't. If I look like absolute shit post up, are you going to tell me? So my boyfriend went out to hang with a bunch of friends for a couple of days and I'm all alone in this house with three cats and I've been reading a lot of Stephen King and to be frank with you guys, it's been a bit of a... I at times got so fucking freaked out for no reason at all. It's crazy, it's crazy what horror stories do to you. And then my dreams, they're just so all over the place i don't remember a day a single day in the last month when i woke up and i was like either there was no dreams at all or the dream that i did see was like neutral So I have a video for this situation you guys, I've been hoovering, cleaning the house and the freaking hoover sucked in one of the socks and the hoover is, it's just a Dyson hoover, it's the next level hoover that is literally impossible to get inside of and the hoover doesn't work anymore because the freaking sock is there. I tried to obviously extract this whole thing, the one you clean and it's just not there, I think it's, it's inside the mill bit that basically is inside that thing and I don't know how to extract it and the hoover doesn't work without it so I'm calling today for cleaning the situation I cleaned the majority of the house so that's fine it just sucks that I have a really crappy hoover downstairs and I did suck in another sock last week and it was an easy breeze to extract it but with this beast I have no freaking idea I guess I'd have to unscrew this bit there and do something but I'm just so tired at this stage I really don't want to do anything I'm just hungry and I need to force myself to go to the gym as well because it's been a couple of days so so it's Monday and my boyfriend is back so I feel a bit more safe in this house. I it's 3 pm. I reached out to the surgeon's office and they didn't go back to me today yet. And I have a low-key feeling that they're going to get back to me for a very long time. Per usual. So I think I'll wait until Wednesday or something before giving them a call. <laughs> Glad that my boyfriend is back because I was proper freaking out here alone. I also wanted to say that I recently discovered one of the jaw surgery cases that was extremely similar to mine. So the girl's occlusion was good. So her top teeth overlapped the bottom teeth the way they should overlap in a normal occlusion. However, she did have a skeletal free jaw discrepancy. Her maxilla was underdeveloped, just like in my case, and her face didn't make sense with, with that. Um, so she had exactly the same issue. She had her upper jaw surgery, I think it was last year. The woman she had was four millimeter forward maxillary advancement. Exactly the same movement as I will be having. And I really like her results, you know, seeing somebody who had exactly the same fucking thing going through with the surgery with the exact same movements. Hopefully my surgeon is as talented as the one that she had, but I'm pretty sure he's very fucking good. The result that she got in the end is just perfect. Her face makes sense. She looks extremely pretty. You know, it just made me so much more relaxed about the proposed movements. It made me hopeful, it made me a bit more... It made me feel good about the whole thing. It made me feel like whatever I'm going with, I'm going ahead with this year, is only going to bear positive results. Fingers fucking crossed. But that's that's the plan and this plan of action is proven. I was looking for, for a similar case to mine for a long time, as you do when you're trying to figure out that whatever the fuck is that you're doing is the correct thing to do and seeing a real case study <laughs> so to speak in front of your eyes a year later post-op and the whole journey from before and after and comparison seeing that it is the right thing to do 
just very reassuring so i would recommend doing that i would recommend trying to find a case that is similar to your skeletal structure breast movement like everything you know <clears throat> and follow those cases to see how things change hi guys it's tuesday 11 in the morning and i wanted to come on here to say that i honestly don't think i'd bear to have yet another whole week of not receiving any updates on the surgical date front i think it's ridiculous they're literally dragging it along despite the fact that they promised last week to give me an update by friday they're just not responding and they didn't respond to the email i sent yesterday i just feel that email thing it's like a black hole you know you send something and you literally never ever receive any fucking emails back and it's really frustrating so frustrating you'd think they'll be more on it because they kind of messed up the whole admin thing you'd think that they'd be more responsive with the whole rescheduling and it just doesn't seem to be that way so i'm struggling to to see what what i can do at this stage i feel like giving them a call today would be a bit of a I don't know, like a day after the email. Giving them a call tomorrow, I'm scared that if I do, they'll be like, they'll, they'll give me exactly the same response, exactly the same fake promise of giving me an update by the before we go into the weekend. And um, it's just, dude, what, how difficult is it to do it? Everything's been sorted up until this day. The surgical planning's been sorted. The freaking hooks are on, everything is on. I'm scared that my teeth would continue moving and shifting because there's clearly been a fucking shift there that's obvious to me. And I'm like a bit paranoid that the splints that they'll make won't fit my teeth anymore because it's been... It's been almost two months since I got the hooks on and since I got my last um, iHeart scan done that we was used for the surgical planning. So imagine that. They finally book the surgery, everything's going ahead and then for some fucked up reason like this, I'd be like, oh, well, your teeth just shifted and we can't operate on you anymore. Bear in mind the fact that I won't have a pre-op appointment, it seems. I don't know, it, it, it was never mentioned and when I asked about it, they said that I'm under the impression that there won't be any pre-op appointment. Um, all this up in the airness is really fucking with me. So it's just ridiculous and <laughs> like I am literally at a loss with what I'm supposed to be doing. Like obviously all I can do is fuck all, all I can do is wait, chase them and that's it. But it's just you guys am i exaggerating this i don't know every time i go into a new week every fucking day these days is full of this awaiting of a big fucking moment and i get it i shouldn't be having i should adjust my expectations but it's difficult with this it's difficult because i really want to have the surgery past me i want to get done with that i'm so sick of it it feels like so past century now i'm over it in my head i'm over it i'm done with it you know but in reality it's still supposed to happen and like all the new information that i get online with i don't know people not liking their results or surgical planning going wrong or like all of this shit that i'm receiving and reading is not giving me good thoughts you know <laughs> sometimes and I want to eliminate that but i can't because it's just there and i'm so bored and i really want to you know i can't even focus any of my efforts into like i don't enjoy anything you know because i feel like this huge part of my life needs to be over and because it's not over because it's fucking up in the air i can't force myself to defocus from this and focus on like another fucking thing you know I just, I just can't because it feels like this thing is um it's like a major roadblock you know when it's really not um yeah it fucking sucks i really hope that they'll give me updates but i keep saying it i can make a fucking compilation like a video compilation that will be probably like 10 minutes long of me saying i'm hoping to get this update i'm hoping i'm hoping i'm hoping and my hopes are just not fucking leading anywhere i know i like to get shit done fast fast and efficient and this has been the fucking slowest 
process in my whole fucking life and it's dragging now it's dragging there's nothing positive about it at the moment nothing absolutely fucking nothing i want i want to be done with it You know, cats can also have dental problems and you're supposed to be brushing their teeth every now and again and been trying to brush them every now and again and it's a mission despite the fact that the toothpaste that we buy is like chicken flavoured toothpaste or cheese flavoured toothpaste they just don't get it so it's always a mission to brush their teeth however, if you look at Lyra's teeth and then let's shut the, let, let's shut the teeth he has really good teeth, but he doesn't like sharing them. He probably thinks I'm about to brush his teeth, but I'm, oh look, look. Uh, so we need to keep their teeth under control because apparently mine coons have the largest jaws of all um, cat types. So they may have problems with their teeth. Down the line when they grow, apparently they continue growing for five years. Um, the largest cat breed of all yeah we need to we need to look after their teeth and they need to get used to us looking after their teeth he's looking at me like <laughs> fuck you and your fucking teeth to make this vlog a little bit longer i decided to do something they aren't long enough already i uh, wanted to ask my boyfriend some questions about the jaw surgery because as we know we, this this process can be really fucking annoying for someone who's not going for this process because we as potential jaw surgery patients are trying to reach out to our loved ones trying to get their support and you know it's not always there i'm talking about partners and family and friends in general that's why we kind of group um into our own a little jaw surgery community on instagram and facebook to discuss this to, to have this place to just literally vomit all of that shit out but me is my youtube channel but first question is it's been one year of me talking about the jaw surgery and going through everything how has it been for you it's been a bit of a wild ride i guess initially it was not as much but with the recent piece of the surgery being delayed and all that stuff it's been kind of a bit uncertain before that it wasn't so bad um because yeah i think it was all clear what needed to be done until the actual surgery and the dates and the timelines got all confusing and difficult. So, as many of my subscribers are experiencing this with me, are you experiencing the fact that my jaw surgeon's office has been a lot, a bit, a bit all over the place? Or do you think I'm exaggerating? Well, I, I don't know if it's specifically the office, but the whole thing just seems to almost, I, mean, I don't know whose fault it is, but from what you've told me it seems like the office right so do you trust me to go ahead with the surgery with these people or do you think I it makes me lose confidence in these people so i don't know what you think about that so i, I kind of understand where you're coming from at the same time i'm dealing with secretaries not the surgeon and i still have high hopes for the surgeon but you haven't talked to the surgeon recently yeah, but there's nothing to talk about. I feel like you should talk to the surgeon at least one more time before the surgery. One more question. So, how much do you know about the post-op process? How are you going to look after me when my jaw surgery does happen? I know that you will be in a very bad state. I know that you want me to eat that much and you'll have to be having like liquid foods and stuff and you need this like brace as well as ice stuff because otherwise it will hurt too much a bit painkillers so yeah I'm, i know all that stuff the main thing is just you need to be able to tell me what you need so i won't be anything, able to talk yes yeah, so you can use hand gestures we can call this sign language so then, <laughs> um i know what you need but my main goal is to just make sure you you're eating um you're sleeping you're not in pain so but if you want anything else above that you've got to give me some complex sign language and tell me what it is <laughs> so what if i look worse post-op are you, are you still going to to be with me or are you going to throw me away and if that happens do we need to write a contract of who will take the cats with them you're really posting this online <laughs> <laughs> if i look like absolute shit post-op are you going to tell well, me i thought that everyone looks like shit post-op i look like absolute shit and you just don't recognize me anymore are you going to 
just to say. I think that's gonna happen, and I wouldn't anyway, because I like you. Mmm, you like me. I don't know if it's on the internet. <laughs> so I can confidently go in, and if I do come out of this process looking like shit, knowing you'll, you'll that you will be more unhappy be there, than me. But are you going to tell me that I look like shit? Or are you going you'll to? You'll know more than I do if it went well or not. But that. are you going to tell me? I'll wait for you to say something. <laughs> Do you reckon the cats will still recognise me? They, because you, your smell is the same. They recognise my smell. I don't think I'll smell the same. I'll smell of medicine. Not for all the time. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to say is that you know how before the jaw surgery I didn't know the terminology of this thing, but throughout the process I've learned stuff. My boyfriend learned stuff with me, so he's going to show you what he's learned so far by using his finger and my face. Okay, um, <laughs> this is <laughs> a maxilla, this is a mandible, <laughs> if you get your, your chin sawed off it's a genio, if you get something done to your nose here it's a septo. So get yourself a boyfriend who knows that shit guy. I know all the orthognatic terms. <laughs> oh, orthognatic!